if you are currently stuck in the login screen in a Nintendo Switch, here is a video to fix it. First and foremost, if you ever have any error message regarding network issues or connection of the game, simply change the network. What does that mean? Well, for example, if you're using a LAN connection, try changing it to a mobile hotspot network and then try the game. Majority of the network issues get immediately fixed with this trick. You just have to switch to some other network. Next thing, power cycling the Nintendo Switch. A very soft reset of the Nintendo Switch console can fix a lot of issues when playing. Here's how to do it. Press and hold the power button for at least 15 seconds. The power button found in the top left hand corner of the Nintendo Switch. Select power options then select power off and then the screen will turn dark. Press the power button for a few seconds to turn it back on. The Nintendo logo will appear. If that doesn't help, see the time in your Switch. Now this may not look important, but if your time is not correct in the Nintendo Switch, then probably your Switch is unable to reach the Fortnite server as the Switch is constantly requesting Fortnite server. But since the timing of the Switch is incorrect, the Fortnite server won't accept the request and that is the reason you're facing this login issue. So make sure the time is correct. You can choose automatically selected time inside your Switch. If that doesn't help, next step you can do is generally what happens, some players by will or by mistake, they sign in two places. Like they have the same account on the Switch as well as on PC or any other platform. This sometimes create a big conflict. So to disconnect this conflict, what you have to do is first and foremost, sign into your Epic Games account on your PC or any other platform, select connections and move to the accounts tab on your, on your accounts page. Under the accounts tab, you will see platforms connected to your Epic Games account. Disconnect other platforms to avoid any possible conflict. Click the disconnect button. The pop-up will appear to ask for confirmation. Finally, hit the unlink button to complete the procedure. Last step would be to change your DNS server manually. To do so, select settings from your home menu in the Nintendo Switch console, select internet, then go to the internet settings. The Nintendo Switch will automatically search for the nearby Wi-Fi signals. Select your network from the list of networks located under registered networks. Select change settings and then scroll down and select DNS settings. Select manual and then select primary DNS and hold the B button to delete the DNS. The default will be to zeros. Enter the DNS and the primary as 8888 and select OK and the secondary DNS. Hold the B button, delete the existing DNS and put 8844 and then try the game. See if that helps. So that was the video, quite plain and simple. Hope these steps help you in fixing this problem. If the problem is still there, please comment down section in the comment section or you can refer to my Twitter over here and ping me over there. I will help you out. And if this video is a little bit informative, please don't forget to like button. Consider subscribing my channel if you're new here. I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye.